Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Got a little bit of a cold today, but I'm not going to let that stop me. So, but throughout my tutorials, I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about method overriding and really exceptions and specifically like the uh, throws list. So. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com, select begin. Scroll down here to the exceptions method overriding. I've created several tutorials on method overriding that explain certain rules based on the current level of teaching at that time. Now that I've covered uh, exception handling in detail, I would like to explain a few more rules with relation to overriding methods that declare thrown exceptions. First and foremost, you should have a good understanding of the difference between a checked and an unchecked exception. Furthermore, you should understand the purpose of the throws list. Please watch all my exception handling tutorials if you are unsure in any way. Okay, let's talk first about declaring unchecked exceptions. There are no rules that pertain to unchecked exceptions in method overriding. Declaring unchecked exceptions in the throws list is completely optional, well, plus pointless and confusing, and will not affect your program at compilation or runtime. Declaring checked exceptions. Here's where the rules come in. Examining the superclass method first is the key to determining what is a legal override for a subclass. Uh, just to emphasize, the rules below pertain only to checked exceptions in a throws list. So, if a method declaration in a superclass has no throws list, then methods in the subclass cannot contain a throws list. If a method declaration in a superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass can declare the same exception in its throws list. If a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass can declare a subclass of that exception in its throws list. If a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass can have no throws list at all. Now, if a method declaration of a superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass cannot declare a superclass of that exception in its throws list. All right, so these are a little, a little confusing here. I'm gonna go over all this stuff in the code here. So let's come down here, highlight, uh, highlight all the source code here. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm gonna move the browser off screen here. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, type in CMD, next and finish. All right, I'm gonna type in Java C, which is Java compiler command, press enter. Should see all this stuff scroll by now. However, if you receive an error message, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. Make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory here called Java using the MD command. And I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. I'm going to make another directory here, and I'm just going to call this uh, method override exception. Change the directories to that folder, and I'm going to notepad method override exception.java. Okay, that's going to be the name of my source code file there. <coughs> Control V to paste or right click and select paste. Okay, I'm going to come up here and save this. Okay, so I have got uh, three classes in this source code file here. Method override exception with the main method entry point. And I've got a class superclass with three methods in it and a class subclass that extends superclass. So I name these things. You know, it's a little pretty, pretty self-documenting there, so. Um, all right, so let's talk about the first method in superclass here, which is this unchecked method. And it's a void return type, takes a string s parameter, and I've declared it throws null pointer and arithmetic exception. Now these are unchecked exceptions. They're optional and pointless. I'm just demonstrating this here. And what this is going to do, it's going to display to the console um, the string dot, and I'm going to invoke the substring method, 
starting at um, index 200 and going all the way to index 300. And what that's going to do is throw a string index out of bounds exception here when, when, when I invoke that up here. So basically in the main method, first thing I'm doing is creating a new instance of super class and super one is a reference variable that points to that and inside this try catch I'm doing super one dot unchecked method passing in hello world so that's going to obviously catch an exception and I've just done a broad exception catch here with the exception class and then caught exception and I'll display that to the console okay so now down here in the override in the subclass of unchecked method right same return type same uh, parameter and then I've just said throws index out of bounds exception. Once again, index out of bounds exception is a unchecked exception, so it's optional and pointless, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, display s dot length. Now what I've got going on up here is I've got this this uh, class variable static type, right? String temp. Of course, because I'm not initial initializing it, temp is going to be automatically initialized to null, right? And so that's what I'm passing into the uh, the subclass, right? Sub1 is the reference variable to a new subclass object. And I am invoking the unchecked method here and passing temp instead of the string literal like I did to the other one there. So that's going to create a null pointer exception. And you can see these throws don't even match any of the exceptions here, right? OK. That's why it just basically is like pointless and confusing to do any of this stuff there. There's no checks or anything on that. Let's go ahead and just run this real quick here, and we'll just kind of go pick on this line by line. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen, Java C. Compile that, Java, let's run it. Okay, so the first two catches that I got here right, are the caught exception, string index out of bounds exception, string index out of range at 300, right? And then a uh, next one caught exception, java.lang.nullpointer exception. All right, so Going back to back to my website here. <laughs> no rules pertain to unchecked exceptions and method overriding. Declaring unchecked exceptions in the throws list is completely optional, plus pointless and confusing. Will not affect your program and compilation or runtime. All right, so let's just go ahead and clean up this class a little bit here. We're just kind of done with that. We don't. You don't even really want to want to deal with unchecked exceptions anymore. So, <coughs> so you know, if you've got if you've got unchecked exceptions that'll be thrown in there, you know, just really just leave out the whole entire throws list like that, right? That's that's the best way to to do it there. But let's just go ahead and get rid of these since we've already covered them. All right? Clean this up a little bit here. So the next method that we're going to deal with here is a checked method with no throws list, right? And that'll display to the console this simple string literal. Invoke the check no throws superclass method, right? Okay. Now down here in the subclass, I've got the check no throws overridden method here. And displaying to the console, invoke the check no throws subclass method. All right, let's come back up here and um, let's just run those two guys here. So. Save this, clear our screen. <coughs> Alright, so we've got invoke the check no throws superclass and invoke the check no throws subclass method. So that worked out pretty good. So the rule here with this is if the method declaration the superclass has no throws list, then methods in the subclass cannot contain a throws list. So what happens if we if we try to throw something in there, right? Let's um, come into the subclass here. I'm going to just comment out this, and now we've got a throws IO exception. So we've got nothing up here. We do a throws IO exception in the in the overridden method. There, we are going to get a nice compiler error. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's clear our screen. Okay, so. Um, this first method here is basically saying unreported exception IO exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. Kind of ignore that. That's the one we're not concerned about here, right? But this is the one we are because this this is like a secondary error up here. Basically, this is saying okay, you you um, you said basically you're going to throw an IO exception and you're not doing a catcher or um, 
catcher declare type thing in that, but this is what we're concerned with here, line 43. Check no throws in subclass cannot override check no, th no throws in superclass. Right? Over overridden method does not throw IO exception. Right? So it's basically saying, okay, the overridden method here does not throw IO exception, so you cannot do this. So that's, that is that. Okay, so that takes, takes us over here to the second rule. Or, um, no, this rule right here. So if a method declaration of the superclass has no throws list, then method the methods in the subclass cannot contain a throws list. All right, let's go ahead and just, uh, well, you know what the hey, let's just comment this out and put this back here, right? Yeah, the no throws, we're pretty much done with that. Actually, let's just go ahead and get rid of all that there. Now we're kind of into the, into the better stuff there. I'll just clean all this up so it gets less confusing there. Right. Okay, now we're just basically left with the uh, the other rules there. All right. So, um, next rule that we're going into is if a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked method in the throws list, then the subclass can declare the same exception in its throws list. Right? There's a lot of things you can do here, and a few things you cannot. Okay. So in this first one here. Um, checked throws, throws IO exception, right? And um, IO exception here, let's just come over here to the, uh, the exception class on the Java 8 API, right? So everything underneath exception is a checked exception, right? All these subclasses are, with the exception of runtime exception. Runtime exception and its, sub, and its subclasses are unchecked exceptions. So um, in here I've got IO exception. So that's a subclass of exception. That's going to come into, into play here, right? And in the IO exception, I'm going to pick on this other one here, which is uh, end of file exception. So you can see end of file exception is a subclass of IO exception, which is a subclass of exception. Now exception, all these are checked exceptions. All right, I'm going to really go in somewhere with this actually there. So the f let's see, so we're throwing a checked exception here. Now in the override, so I'm doing a throw, throw new IO exception, and in the um, the overridden one in the subclass on checked throws, throws IO exception, it's exact same. So yes, throws list is the same. We're, we're all good there. The only difference I'm doing here is that I'm just displaying this one line here that invoke the check throws subclass method. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's can recompile. Rerun. Okay, let's clear our screen. All this garbage off here. So, caught exception. So the first thing I'm doing is check throws, and I'm catching the exception. And I'm just displaying it, and then sub one, which is a subclass, check throws caught exception and displaying it. So caught exception, IO exception, invoke the check throws subclass method, caught exception, Java IO exception. All right, so. That just basically reiterates this rule. If a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass can declare the same exception in its throws list. Now the next rule is if a method in the superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass can declare a subclass of that exception in its throws list. All right, um, let's come back over here. I'm just gonna comment this stuff out. Probably should just use multi-line, but I don't care. Um, now, in this next one here, so IO exception, end of file exception is a subclass of that. You remember that's why I kind of went over here, right? End of file exception is a subclass of IO exception. So that's perfectly legal here too, right? So inside of the subclass, this can throw a subclass of this exception here, right? Let's go ahead and save this. Come up here, recompile, rerun. Okay, we can see caught exception, java.io.io exception, and then caught exception, java.io, EOF, and a file exception. All right, so that, that works out great there. All right, so I love reiteration, so let's just go over that one last time there. 
uh, method declares a super a method declaration in the superclass declares a checks exception in the throws list, then the subclass can declare a subclass of that exception in its throws list. All right, the next rule. If a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass can have no throws list entirely, basically. All right, let's just uh, play with that little example here. So, there we go. We got no throws, but up here we got throws IO exception. So, yes. This is missing the throws list completely. That's perfectly valid, and that'll just display this to the console. So let's save this. Okay, and you can see caught exception, IO exception, and then invoke check throws in the subclass method. So, so far we're pretty cool on that. All right, let's come back here, and we're down to basically our last rule. So reiterate, if a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass can have no throws list at all are all entirely. I'm just kind of throwing that in there. All right, last rule. If a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked exception in the throws list, then the subclass cannot declare a superclass of that exception in its throws list. All right, so um, we're throwing IO exception in the superclass. Now, exception is a superclass of that. So if we try to throw exception in the subclass, we are going to get a nice compiler error. And let's just demonstrate that here. <clears throat> all right save all right so we're throwing io exception in the superclass subclass tries to throw exception now exception is a superclass of io exception right so that's no we cannot do that so let's see what uh what, what it screams at us here let's clear our screen for that first Okay, so method override exception, error. Checked throws in subclass cannot override check throws in superclass, right? Overridden method does not throw exception. All right, so basically that is the last rule there. If a method declaration in the superclass declares a checked exception of throws list, the subclass cannot declare a superclass of that exception in the throws list. All right, so pretty pretty basic here on these three rules that kind of pertain to each other. So you can the subclass can throw basically like the same exception or a subclass of it or nothing, right? So it can like go down the down the hierarchy all the way down to nothing, right? But um, in the first rule there, just remember that if there's no throws list in the superclass, you cannot throw checked exceptions in the subclass. And then you cannot go up the hierarchy in subclasses too. So, all right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this off screen. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.